After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. And my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Get me out, just get me out. My pet peeve is the individual that comes in here making demands. He wants his phone call now, his dad is an attorney, his husband is an attorney or whatever, and they want them in here now to get him out of jail, give me my phone call. Already I'm getting peeved. And uh, we go through training, dealing with like anger management, where instead of just popping off and saying what I want to say, I'll hold my tongue, breathe, de-escalate my heart rate, and drive on from there where I don't just go to their level, I try to talk to them to calm them down as well, because if I escalate, they'll in turn escalate as well, and we'll both end up losing. I like that tone. I love it. Wow, there's hope. There you go. Kick them off. Sorry, go home. There you go. There may be a 27 in her. A 27? What is a 27 in my... There's a license. There's a license in my... Are you serious? Face the camera. Face the camera. He wasn't talking to you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Are you sure you had one drink? I had one. Whoa. Why are you so stuck out? I'm just saying. I just want you to check me hurry and get it over with because I don't like females touching on my breast to see. Do you have any medical problems? No. I'm not allergic to you. Adamio! Y'all just don't give me a shot in my butt because that really hurts. Okay. Okay. She's in here for public intoxication, but she is a attention-grabbing person. I can't have her sitting out here in open seating. The fellas that are coming in here are intoxicated, so they're not going to be in their better judgment. They're going to see her, and they're going to want to try and get her number in an effort to make contact with her. Yeah, straight up already. Showing off, Rachel. Rachel, what are you doing? I just want to get out. I don't even want to be here. They got me here for public intoxication. Right, right. But Rachel, what are you doing? Taking your clothes off? Cause it's hot. You're hiding here. Hot as hell. I swear. That's what I was trying to tell you whenever you walked by. Okay. Once I have you sitting out there, I'm not gonna be able to have this display. That's not gonna come off. That's gonna come off. It's gonna stay on. All right. What's your name? Wait. What's your name? Jaramillo. You don't remember me? Got you. Okay, how do I mean? All right. I hear you. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Rachel. Get your shirt and come here, please. Get your shirt, get your shirt, please. Get your shirt. Man. This way. This way. You know you aggravate me. This She's way. sitting here talking to me through a glass. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't like her, man. Okay, don't like her. That's Fire it. her. Don't, don't like her in here, okay? You are dismissed. In the window there, She's being highly disruptive to our staff over here. She continually knocks and she continually tries to harass one of the female officers, so we have to move her to a cell more further back in the hallway here. And uh, hopefully she calms down. If not, I'm at the resort to probably a restraint chair and get her to calm down and take the fight out of her that way. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Rachel, you are all under the spotlight now. One more outbreak like that, one more outbreak like that, I'm gonna put you in this other cell, just forget about you for the rest of the night. Versus, versus being in here for two hours and then go out there and have a seat on the blue seats, huh? What's it gonna be, huh? One or the other. It's in you, it's in your hands, all right? Stop, stay away from the door, go to sleep, we'll call you when we need you. Go to sleep? Try to. 
two hours or for the rest of the night? Rachel, I've been talking to you about how to act out there, okay? Now, here's your shine. Here's your time to shine, okay? I know I had words with you a little while ago, all right? Now, I have to admit, you got, you got under my skin, all right? Now, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that with you, okay? I'd rather just bide your time out there, have a seat, have a seat. When you go see the judge, now, don't talk, don't talk to the fellas, okay? Come here. You been here before, Rachel? Rachel, just have a seat out here with the females. Don't talk to the guys, all right? Rachel, don't talk to the guys. All right. You can get your ass whooped, my Play with me. You got pretty hair. How to me up. How to me up. Yeah. Emil, this girl I told her several times already to stop talking to the males, so if she does it again, we're going to need to put her in the back. Okay, okay, okay. keep Thank it Thank you. All right. You know that cell that you're in and you just hate it? didn't like it, and beating on the door. If you keep talking to the males, I'll have to put you back in there, okay? No, but they're talking about their own stuff. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I know. I'm sitting here laying down. I'm not doing anything. Are you telling me that three of us didn't just see you talking to them? I told him that he was off the chain. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care what you're Man, saying. I don't wanna, all these other, are you kidding me? All these other people that are sitting here talking. 503. Can you put her in 503? Yeah. This one's the one. It's a 503. I didn't even do nothing. She's a hater, man. Hold up. Get over here. Yeah, Turn around. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Hater, dog. I swear to God, man. Yeah. See, and that thing ain't no push it. Yeah. Man. Don't do it all tight and all that. My wrist not ready. In a general setting, we can't have males and females communicating. It just creates too many problems. Two things that she's got going on for her is that she's young, and she's pretty, and she knows it. But another couple of qualities that'll be good for her is gonna be something like discretion, and to show a little restraint. And for her sake, I hope she's able to get some. Being a big size guy is a deterrent. It does help out. You know, it kind of intimidates people, but at the same time, you know, I give them respect and show them the courtesy, and so this way they feel comfortable but not threatened at the same time. The entertainment is over now. Do what you gotta do to stop the nonsense. Move! Move! Uh, Just the same one that's always. I didn't do anything wrong. That's the security. Uh, all right, all right, just relax. Will you just give us a guy what happened to me? Will you just ask the guy what happened at least? That way you right. know. Well, we gotta separate you guys right now, so. Ask him what we will as soon as we find out. Good lord. That's the other one right there. There was a fight in the shower room. Um, they just called a signal on that. We're gonna figure out what happened. That's one of the property texts. Girl attacked me. I didn't do nothing. I All right, just sit myself. tight. Just sit tight. What's your deal? Are you trusted? I'm gonna get both of them checked out by medical. All right. Hey, will you get the nurse to come over so uh, they can check both of them out and figure out what went on? All right, I'm gonna get with the landers and find out what happened and... Okay, I'm gonna bring her back. 
you had the bird's eye view in the property room. Landers, what happened? I asked them to please be quiet while I give them a little speech to pass out uniforms, what's, what's required of them. And the little one turned and answered for me. She said, all you young ladies, please be quiet. But she didn't say it that way. Well, which one is the little one to you? The little one is the skinny one that was in front of the window. The about one with the red feet. and white shirt? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. And the large girl came around the corner and uh, pointed her finger at her and said, don't you tell me to shut up. I, I can talk as much as I want. I in turn asked them to please quiet down. The next thing I know, it escalated into the shower room behind the curtain. They went through the curtain and I such, all I saw was the large lady on top of the little one. So you think that the uh, the blonde, because they're both short, little, but you mean the... I think the heavy set blonde uh, instigated the uh, the altercation. Fight, yes, before it uh, took place. And who do you think swung first? I think the large lady swung first on the little one. Okay. On my side, what I saw. All right. All right. So now we'll go talk to the young ladies. Okay. Thanks, Landers. Say she's cold. She put toilet paper around her feet. Hey there. You tell me what happened in the shower area? Yeah, because we all were standing there waiting in line to go and, and that, that girl kept talking and the guy in the, in the, in the window says, ladies, can you all be quiet? And she kept talking and I said, excuse me, but can you please be quiet? He wants to hear us. Okay. And she says, you, you, you need to be quiet. I said, look, please don't start with me because I don't feel good. I just want to get dressed. And then she says, you're And I says, no, you. And I went like that low, like that. And then I turn back my head like this to, to, to continue talking to him. Next thing I know, I just get wailed. She just stormed me from I don't know where and, and hit me my in front of the counter. I ended up over near the shower curtain. It all happened that fast, like that. You're not in any trouble. Your story's matching with, with Mr. Lander's story. Okay. So we'll get you finished process and get you through. Okay. okay? All right, thank and you. And the medical will still see you again to make sure that there's, there's no other issue. All right, are they going to back in the same cell with that girl, or are they? Oh, no. Not me. Go down and talk to the blonde, and we'll probably get a whole nother story in our inmate altercation. This girl charged at me in there, OK? And I defended myself, and they threw me in there. She attacked me, and I told the man in there where we were changing, I said, I want to press charges. She hit me. She came at me again, and I knocked her ass. And now they put me in here. Well, first of all, she had a scratch right here. She grabbed me, but there was a bunch of girls in there. It was like, I was like, get away from me. And I told the man, the man's seen it over there. And I don't see why I'm in here. I'm not well, a violent well, person. Well, number one, you're in here because there was an altercation, and we automatically separate the individuals that involved the altercation until we can do a little investigation. So that's the first reason. Uh, secondly, you're not getting along with, this, with another individual until we can decide who the aggressor is and who the victim is in the situation. You're both secured, like I said before. I understand. And that. we have to make sure that you're seen by medical. Okay. okay. Well, I'm in here for medicine that belongs to me, and I can't even call what, to get out. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the reason why you're incarcerated. I'm talking about the reason why you're in the holding cell right now. Okay. Do I have to stay? Okay. In the you have to stay in the holding cell right now until I until I finish uh, meeting out the rest of this situation. Okay. Just like the CBT room when I was here last time, I got a DUI. I was slammed against that door, threw out, and didn't give a breathalyzer. And I'm in here right now again for the wrong reason. We'll put a keep separate on them with classification, so that they don't end up in the same cell again. I need to go by what my CSO has said and what the uh, victim in this particular case is saying. So I'm going to have to go with the two against one and say who the, uh, the victim was and who the assailant was in the situation. So then she gets out, she can file charges. All right, let's get you out and get your chest out and changed out. All right, trustees, can we clean this cell, please? I've been with the department here at Stanislaus County Jail for seven years. You know, I think my strong points working, working here are my verbal skills. You know, I can get an inmate, talk to him, you know, get him to talk to me and respond to me and build some kind of rapport with him. One thing, you know, with this jail being as small as it is, you know, I can deal with these inmates one-on-one -on -one and uh, pretty much know the story of that individual inmate and be able to deal with them. 
John, John, John. What? Calm down, baby. What's going on? Drunk. Are, are you mad? What? Are you mad? No. All right. Good. Sanders? Yeah. You just drunk in public, John? You're not standing yeah, with us? Yeah, well, and I destroyed property. He, did, he destroyed um, the thing out in the uh, visit lobby. Why did you do that? Because he's the black guy. I wanted to jump the other day. They said I was white, and I said, no, I'm black. I said, hey, shut up. As you want some, get some. 5150, it's some. Try me. Sanders, you have love for me? Oh, yeah, John. I have love for you, Sanders. Remember when you didn't plug my TV? I was mad at you. I said, you need to get fired. So I don't give a f. Is that felony vandalism? Felony? Well, You're not booking me on a felony, out, are you? It's made out of wood? Yeah. So it's a misdemeanor. A year in the so county much. jail. Look at me, a year. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. John, John, get right. your feet. D7. How do you know me, Sanders? John has been coming here for years, right? 20 years. 20 ask years. Beltran. 20 years. I took the beef for the homicide that Frost did. All right. Well, we're going to go down and start the other intakes, and I'll talk to you later, John. Be good, man. Calm down. He's got a lot of mental problems. He thinks he's a cop, and uh, he'll come in here, and he says he's on our team. He's undercover, and... Uh, he usually stays all summer when he comes in. He's just, it's like a vacation friend. He comes in here, he hangs out, and he's one of us, and he's, he's entertaining. <laughs> I'm a cop, Detective Jack Frost, badge number 747. You're a rat! That's right, I'm a rat. It's better being a child molester like you! You're a rat, boy. He's a child molester. John, relax. Be out I am relaxed. Be out When? Keeping everybody up. <laughs> you know the program. Yeah, you everybody like there. Your I'm going to beat everybody up for no reason. Just attack and beat me. Yeah, I'm just going to thrash everybody. Why would you do that, John? For the reason. Just because I could do it. You relax. Quit acting all mental. Take care of you, John. Get a tray, you get fed in a couple hours, you're good to go. Do you want me to calm down? Please. All right, I will. Yeah, all right, John. You good to go? Yes. Be my ball. <laughs> Tater. Hey, take care, bud. All right? Love See you. you in a little bit. All right. All right. I'll leave you guys to him alone. He'll, he'll pass out and die. Okay. What's he in for? Sound like flying, John. What's he in for? Let me go get him some water. He's going to relax, he says, hopefully. Make my night easier. Make it a lot smoother for him, hopefully. Down in the cell. We'll see what happens. It's been a long night. It's been a little more than eight hours. John was just released from being drunk in public, and uh, he's right back in here. So I'm going to go over here and talk to him, see how he's doing. Jeff, just grab a seat. Bro. John, you can't stand up, dude. You don't want you slipping and getting hurt. You got out and came right back, huh? Yeah. What happened, dude? I was drinking again. You're drinking again? Yeah. What time did you get arrested, John? Uh, five o'clock. This evening? Yeah. All right. So I had two trays. And you got out of jail this morning at what time? 4.35. 4.35? So yeah. nine, ten hours later, you're back in jail, huh? Yeah. Because I miss you guys. I love you guys. You're okay. my family. <laughs> All right, John. Right? That's right. That's right. This is my home. Sergeant Sergeant said, welcome home, John. You know, guys like John need to be in a state hospital. But, you know, due to reforms and cutbacks, uh, there's nowhere for him to go, so he ends up in the county jail system. And all we can do is try to give him the medication that we have to give him, and hopefully he can get better. You're charged with homicide in the first street. I will plead guilty. Death penalty. And 
the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be 